Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 102 by 20 plus 5 foot beaver tail, low profile beaver tail deck over. It's got the pedal coupler up front. Trailer's 22,500 pound rated, it's weighing in about 5,500 pounds empty. It's going to give you a net legal payload of about 17,000 pounds plus some pin weight. Trailer shown here is completely stocked. There are no additional features on this. However, there are plenty of options available on this type trailer. One of them certainly would be a gooseneck coupler. Also offered with full width ramps. We can do oak ramps, oak in the deck, etc. So we're going to take a walk around the trailer, show you some of the standard features. Starting out up front, of course, it's got the four bolt pinnel coupler, which can again be swapped out with a four bolt ball coupler or of course a gooseneck. Up front, they put a gusset plate where the beams come together. It is a 12 inch I-beam frame. This can come with standard with a single or dual jack. Some people have a preference one way or the other. It's got a spare tire mount in the A-frame. Notice Short Track also takes the time to gusset above and below the beam. So recently too, they've also switched out. The headache rack is now a solid rack. You see up front, it's a solid uh, face plate. Of course your safety chains and your breakaways all standards they do dual side steps they do a nice stirrup step that's got grippers in it they're using the bullet led lights and we like a couple things about short track one would be the stake pockets they do the chain spools in between the rub rail and then they also give you d-rings we find a lot of manufacturers will give you a few of those but not all four you also notice the top of the I-beam running back the frame. A lot of people uh, aren't familiar or don't know necessarily what that means. But if you see an I-beam, that means the trailer's got a pierce frame. Pierce frame, I'll show you in a second. But that lowers your trailer down four inches lower to the ground. Most certainly anybody buying this trailer probably can appreciate having lower uh, ride profile for center of gravity. Certainly much easier as well for loading. So we'll show you what that means in a second. This is going to be a Pierce Frame Low Pro. It's going to get you a 32 inch deck height instead of the traditional 36. This is a dual tandem. You've got your dual 10K axles. You've got your oil bath, dual wheels, 235 80 R16 duals. Okay, when you go Low Pro, we've also got the tread plate over the wheel wells. Notice they take the time to silicone the joint between the tread plate and the side rail. Speaking of the side rail, Short Track does use a 6 inch channel, 8.2 foot pound side rail coming back to the back of the trailer we like how they set their beaver tails up uh, one where the beaver tail adjoins they put again a gusset plate uh, their tail we find to be a little bit heavier duty than some as well as the actual runners the runners on these are a three by three tread not a two by two as we see in most of the industry so again the rub rail stake pockets and whatnot do follow back the five foot beaver tail Another difference we find Short Track's using a tube bumper. I believe that's about a three by eight inch tube bumper. Again, most of the industry we see a fab bumper or a lot of times channel back there. So the flip over ramp, a couple things that we like. One, they've got weep holes built into the ramp. So you notice there they've got weep holes at each tread. You don't get the bath every time you flip the ramp over. Of course, the ramps are spring assisted as are most in the industry. But then you'll notice the kicker plate I'll show you the notch cut out in that ramp and I'll show you what it does here. Basically it gives you a spot where that uh, rear bumper is going to compress about an inch, inch and a half and then it's going to catch on that notch and that ramp's not going to jerk you around like some of the trailers. So again, a lot of things that they build into the rear end of this trailer that we like a lot better than, than some of what we've seen out there. Let me show you a couple other significant differences we find on these short tracks. So underneath the trailer, uh, again, they're doing pierce frame. So pierce frame, you can see, they're taking the cross member and running through the beam instead of putting the cross member above the beam. That's what's getting you that four inches. You also notice the outriggers they do, instead of being a piece of angle iron, they're a semi-style outrigger. Also underneath the trailer, some differences that we see They've got cross track bracing. So you'll see the rub rail in an X type pattern there. That is cross track bracing. It's essentially a rub rail type material. Helps 
do two things. One, it ties the I-beam together side to side. It also ties all your floor cross members in place. Gives you a lot of structure without adding a lot of weight. Uh, in lieu of this, we see some manufacturers do a torque tube. Some don't even offer a torque tube. Uh, on these, it's going to be lighter than a torque tube, but also more effective. You also notice underneath the trailer, you'll see the trailer's all undercoated. You'll see some runs or drips or whatnot. Very durable. We've sold some trailers that are a few years old now and uh, seen them back, and they're all. Uh, and they're all looking a lot better than what a, a painted trailer would look at this point in time. So again, this is a 20 plus 5. It is offered with different ramps. We can go with full width ramps at the back. We can go different lengths. Oak decking is certainly available. number of different options you can put on this. Uh, we generally stock one standard just because we do get plenty of people that come in the door and need to take one out same day. But again, if you got time to order, a number of different ways you can configure the trailer. My name's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. If you have any other questions on this, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.